Now I absolutely love using Lego to teach physics, both to my students and also in the many videos that I've made. Now it's not my idea. Um, first of all, Queen Mary University made some resources which you can find uh, linked below this video and that kind of set my mind racing and I used that idea and I refined it over many, many months and years until I came up with the ideas that I've put in the videos that you can find on my YouTube channel. Now, like all models, there are some limitations to this analogy, but basically I chose these uh, big yellow blocks to be my protons, uh, the red ones to be my neutrons, uh, then I've got my electrons, and then, you know, when you look at different uh, interactions, you need things like neutrinos, which are a bit like electrons, but a bit smaller, as well as you have the different quarks. And remember that three quarks make up a baryon, uh, so if you have an up quark, a down quark, and an up quark, that makes our proton. And that's why uh, this way of using Lego is quite a nice way of kind of building up the whole universe. Now, firstly, you can build up uh, very simple atoms, perhaps a proton and an electron to make uh, some hydrogen. Obviously, this would orbit it. But then you can maybe add another neutron into that. And then what you have is an isotope. And what you might see is that as you have different numbers of uh, protons, sorry, neutrons being added to that, we come up with maybe tritium. And then maybe you can think about what happens when you have uh, two protons and two neutrons. Maybe you've got your um, helium atom, or perhaps you take these away, have a helium nucleus, which is there for an alpha particle. Now, although Lego is very simple, it can be used to show some quite complicated reactions. Perhaps when you have a neutron turning into a proton, uh, an electron, so this is our beta minus decay, and also giving out an anti-electron neutrino. And what I decided to do with my Lego is if it's an antiparticle, we just turn it upside down. So perhaps you might have your uh, proton. You can also have an antiproton just by turning it upside down. And, you know, this is another way of using Lego to actually show some quite complicated things. And then we can maybe think about this in terms of the quarks. If you think about uh, a neutron being a down, up, down, and a proton being an up, down, up, what we can really see here is that within inside the baryons here, uh, two of the particles, an up and a down quark, are, remain unchanged. And you can maybe take this idea and explore it and how the fact that it's only really a down quark turning into an up quark in beta minus decay. So I hope that helps just explain how Lego can be used to teach particle physics. Like any analogy, there are many limitations, but perhaps, you know, that's a good discussion point for the students. If you'd like to buy Lego, you can do it through the Lego Pick a Brick website, and I've linked to that just underneath the video. And if you're a teacher and you'd like to maybe subscribe to my Year 13 material for your school, please have a look at my website and look at the schools area to see how you can do that. So that you can access hundreds of videos for all, all of the course to really help your students as much as possible. Thank you very much.